So how much energy would be required to melt 15 grams of ice at zero degrees Celsius? And then it says the heat of fusion is 6.01 kilojoules per mole. Okay, so it's asking us how much energy would be required. So remember, kilojoules is a unit of energy. Is everybody okay with that? And we've essentially, right, got this uh, conversion factor here is kilojoules to moles, right? Kilojoules to moles of ice. Does everybody see that? So, what we're going to do with this one is take that heat of fusion, how much energy it takes to um, melt something, in this case ice, and they say it's 6.01 kilojoules per mole. So let's just write this out as per one mole. And of course, this is one mole of ice. And it also gives us the mass of ice, which is 15.0 grams of ice. So, can we get from the mass to the moles somehow? How do we do that? What is it? What is that, you, what is that thing Water. called? The what? Yeah. Molar mass. The molar mass. Yeah, that conversion factor. So in this case, it's 18.02 grams of ice, right? Because ice and water are the same molecule, of course, or mole of ice. So this will give us now the number of moles of ice. And if we wanted to, we could even straight up get the energy, right? Does everybody see that? Right? We can use this conversion factor. One mole of ice is 6.01 kilojoules of energy. But we've got however many grams of ice, or however many moles of ice. So let's figure it out. So 15 divided by 18.02. So we've got 0.8324 essentially moles of ice. Right? And then multiply that by 6.01. And I got um, so, what are we looking for? Q, right? Uh, plus 5.00 oh, oh, um, kilojoules of energy. So, what about this one? Is this one flowing in or out of the system? Into the system, right? The other way you can, so. You can also think the ice is melting. Okay. Are there any questions about this one? You guys are getting it today. Good.